So this is my uh, my Garmin Colorado 400T GPS, and uh, this is how I navigate the entire way across the country. It was it was perfect because I mean it sat right there next to my hands, and I had access to it the whole time, and beautiful bright screen, and this scroll wheel here that allowed me to switch through the different menus and just these two buttons on the left and the right to access and select different different options. Uh, the large screen was great for writing and the, the, the bright display um, really helped out, especially when it was getting kind of later in the night. Another great thing was actually the it had a 3D mapping, so I was able to actually see the topography of the land and as I was going down the road I could actually see where the mountain was coming and I knew exactly where the summit was and I knew how to pace myself and how much energy I needed to expel and I wasn't in the dark as far as climbing a lot of these hills. Uh, I always keep it on the um, the compass page because that way I can tell the, the direction not only that I'm heading but in comparison to the wind so I know if if I'm just really really tired and if the wind is getting me or you know and I always want to know that direction of where it's coming from also I also looked at the on the compass page I would set the speed so I know how fast I was going the distance to my next destination and my current altitude because I always want to know also how how fast I was climbing and again be able to gauge the uh, the hill and know if I was uh, really having a hard time going uphill or if the hill was just really steep um, and of course I also kept the time of day on that compass page those those uh, four settings plus the compass that's pretty much what I stayed on whenever I had to make a, uh, a turn I knew it was coming up I would switch to the map page and I could look at the map and see all my all my turns I was going maybe I was going through a city the the way I mount the GPS is different than most people. Most people probably mount it right either here on their on this on this uh, stem, or maybe just to the off the side of their handlebars. But I like to have it out in front of me, so my head's not tilting down as much to look. And I have a tether here that I took off my old GPS. It was a 76 CSX made by Garmin, and this doesn't come with a tether. But I found that the moment you think that something might not fall off the bike, it's probably going to fall off. Let me pull it off here. One second. So the tether actually goes around to the back of the battery compartment and underneath this little latch, which releases the compartment so the battery compartment can slide off the cover, I just wrap the tether underneath that and it kind of holds itself in place. The way I mount the GPS is also is up here in the front with this this bracket, but it goes on to these are reflector brackets. This is what your reflector would come mounted to when you first buy your bike. Well, I got four of them, and I mounted two of them backwards here, there, and there's two more mounted backwards there. And then put bought a piece of aluminum tubing and mounted it right here for the br brackets to hold on to, and that pushes everything out in front so that I have a clear view of it, and it gives me plenty of space to mount the GPS, to mount my light right on the side, and it frees up space on the handlebars so that my hands don't become too cramped up here with limited space to hold on. Um, and that's that. It was, you know, I, I can't imagine going across the country with a bunch of maps and not using a GPS. In fact, the when I go, I'm, my next big trip is going to be all the way across the uh, Asia and Europe, and again, it's going to that fully with a GPS and try to have as little maps as possible. They're so cumbersome and they're heavy and the GPS is so accurate. Uh, it's just it's the, the way, it's the way to go if you're going to do any sort of long distance touring. So that was my Colorado GPS. I highly recommend getting one.